Well, two weeks later, after recording the song, he gets killed. Uh, how did you feel when you first got that phone call? Yeah, when he was, you know, when he was killed, um, it was like all of the air just taken out from everything that I had, you know, explained to you that I felt like Superman leaving there, you know what I mean? It was like somebody just stole all the air out and just came crashing down to earth because, you know, part of me was very much like thinking like, well, I, I got blessed with this situation and this is just something that I, you know, he's gonna live through it because he got shot six times and he lived. Mm -hmm. So he got shot again. And this is just miraculous. He's gonna live. Yeah. So we part all, of me thought, thought like, <laughs> I, I think he's gonna live, you know? And so the saddest part was, is like we had this, this, I wanted to get in touch with him. You couldn't get in touch with him. Yeah. No one could get in touch with him. I was in London in a church recording in Air Studios, which is an old renovated church. And it's where the Beatles used to record. And it's where they recorded like Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's like mm. big cathedral um, recording studio. So I'm in this cathedral church when I find out that, you know, Tupac had been shot and basically, you know, he was gonna die. And, you know, I don't know. I, it, there was a part of me that was just kind of like, okay, damn the song. You know, damn the song, this is a person. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he got shot, like, again? Like, that's not fair. You know, it's not fair. And then everything that went with it, I thought, oh God, now this is, it's not just about him being gone now. Now the burden's gonna come with, we've recorded this song. Like, I got, I did a song with this man. You know what I mean? We had this song to answer about. We, we were just gonna put this song out. We had talked about being in the video for God's sake together and done, getting dressed up and you know what I mean? I mean, my entire, all my dreams were shattered, bro. Like, you know what I mean? For real. And it wasn't so much about me. That's, that's really describing in a selfish way. Cause at that point I was just worried about his family and like the people that knew him better than I knew him. I, I had known him for a short bit, you know what I mean? So I was just thinking like, oh my God, this, this, this guy, you know, I, it was just too, too much to handle too, too fast, you know? And then, and then what's so crazy is, is that of course, then all the opportunists come into the situation and they're like, oh, you gotta put the song out, gotta put the song out. And of course, to me, I was just like, Shh, I, ain't, I ain't touching that. And I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to even put the song you know, out. I was very, very much like, I didn't know what to do. And it, and it, was, it, it was up to Afini, really, Afini Shakur, to really make that song something that needed to happen. Huh. Because she basically said, you know, no, my son never played me his music because he was always sort of looking out for my, you know, what I would find offensive. Yeah. But he was very, very much excited to play me this song, Are You Still Down, which is the reason why she named his first album that ever came out after his, his, after his, death. his death. Yeah, it was Are called Are You Still Down. Right, because yeah, yeah. you guys do, well, you do the video without Tupac. Yeah. And, um, and they forced that. You know, they, they, they seemed were, a little awkward. Yeah, they, they, they forced that. They were, they were uh, you know, and I knew, I knew that no matter how that song came out, that was going to be a burden for me to hold, you know, on my own, to be, not have him around to vouch for that. Uh, but, you know, we poured the, the, the cognac out for him in the video. Babyface offered me his house to shoot the video at. Mm -hmm. um, it was very much like, please do this for this song because everyone loves this song. And my morale was so damaged at that point for that album. You have to understand, I had just finished doing, everyone really looks at Cool Relax. Most of my fans, they tell me that's, that's one of their favorite, most favorite albums of mine. You know? So I look back at those songs and I like, think about how hard it was to have those songs still have the life that they did with this sort of like this glooming morale behind you know, behind it with Tupac's death, it was very, very hard. It was a very, very, very much a burden uh, for for someone at my age to be able to handle that kind of a, the kind of pressure or the politics involved with that. Mm -hmm. And all I did was just collaborate with the man, you know, and I was in the studio. He, 
he was there with me, you know? So it's, it's hard because he's not here to say, nah, man, you know, um, you know, we did that. 